Bookmap's liquidation indicator displays where specific cryptocurrency exchanges are liquidating traders' positions due to their lack of ability to meet margin requirements. The red squares on the bookmap chart indicate sell order transactions due to specific buyers being liquidated. The green squares indicate buy order transactions due to specific seller liquidations. This data is also outputted on the subchart in various configurations and we'll cover that in just a minute. Accessing areas of liquidations can offer tremendous insight into specific players' market activity and where potential turns in the market may take place. As you can see in this image, the liquidation events are occurring at the price range extremes, offering you the ability to make more informed trading decisions when these events unfold. Currently, the liquidations indicator works only with cryptocurrency exchanges Binance Futures, FTX, Bybit, and Bitfinex. Other exchanges may be added in the near future. The liquidations indicator is included in Bookmap's Global and Global Plus subscription and requires Bookmap's version 7.3 build 26 or higher. If you are currently a Global or Global Plus subscriber, then skip to the next step on installation. If not, then subscribe to Global or Global Plus from the website here or upgrade by logging into bookmap.com. Then click on the Upgrades button and select Global or Global Plus. To get the liquidation indicator, go to bookmap.com. Click on the More button here and go to the Bookmap Knowledge Base. Then the Add-on section here. In the left margin, click on the Liquidation Indicator. Scroll down to find Instructions on Installation or click on how to install in the right margin. Click on the download link here. Continue reading to gain a deeper understanding of the liquidation indicators features and settings. After downloading, install the indicator by clicking on the configure add-ons button. Then click on the add button here and locate and install the download file. Next, tick the checkbox and click on the liquidation button text. Let's go through the settings. You can display the output in the base currency or quote currency. For example, I'm accessing BTC USD. Thus, the base currency is Bitcoin and the quote currency is USDT. I've selected base currency so the number of Bitcoins liquidated is being displayed. Switch to the quote currency to see the display in dollars. Note the slash and the number to the right. This displays the number of liquidation events on the aggregate that make up the specific currency output. Zoom in closer to see each event if desired. Let's go back to the settings. You can filter the display by adding a threshold here. For example, you may choose to look at only higher liquidation events. The icon position setting allows you to show or hide liquidation markers as well as offset the marker a specific number of pixels away from the event. The color settings are rather straightforward. However, note the info button here and that the red color displays the sell transactions forced from buy position liquidations. The green color displays buy transactions forced from sell position liquidations. You can also output the liquidation data in the bookmap subchart. You can split out buyers and sellers here. Under accumulation mode, some chart refers to the cumulative volume delta or buy minus sell of the liquidations within the viewable chart range. If you choose some session, then it displays it from the very beginning of your bookmap session. The standard setting displays cumulative volume of buy minus sell liquidations within a time frame selected in the dropdown. Once the time threshold is met, it resets to zero and starts again. Sliding displays accumulation within a sliding window within the threshold setting. When data slides out of the threshold, it also slides out of the display. Exponential displays the accumulation but returns to the half or half-life of the outputted selected in the threshold dropdown. 
in the subchart alerts section, you can set alert threshold in either base or quote currency and be alerted both visually and by audio as well. Play around with the settings here to refine your alert outputs. Note that the alerts only work for accumulation modes, exponential, sliding, and standard. In summary, we think the liquidation indicator offers substantial transparency into important information regarding the positions of specific market participants. This information can allow you to better understand market behavior and offer deeper insight for making better trading decisions.